can't believe how big my belly looks. I am 36 weeks here. And this is like, I think the first time I've actually worn like all white. And I look really big and round. Yeah, she's literally popping out so much more and I notice it more in this white, it's crazy. Um, oh my God, Alea, you are a little round already. I am so ready to not be pregnant anymore. It's getting harder and harder and it's just harder to move around. It hurts to move around. It hurts to lay down. My back is killing me right now. Um, but this is 36 weeks. Oh my God, I'm gonna be so sad at the same time though when she's not in my belly um, and she's actually here. I think I'm gonna miss it. And so I'm trying to like take advantage and just take each moment and just really just accept it, whether it's painful, whether it's whatever it is. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I just really wanted to share with you guys how I incorporated the baby into our one bedroom apartment. 37 weeks today, and I feel really good. I have not been really tired, um, which, is a good thing um i just wanted to share i did mention this in my hospital bag video and um it was to start drinking it around 37 weeks of my pregnancy it's a labor and prep tea um i just had my first cup of tea today and it tasted really good i actually enjoyed it we'll see what it does for me um this is my outfit for today it's so funny because when i look at myself from the front I'm like, dang, I don't even look like I am pregnant in this black dress. But when I turn to the side, that bump is literally sticking out. Um, this is 37 weeks. Alea is in there. I can't believe it. My legs and my feet are actually getting very swollen, including my hands. So real quick, I want to show you guys our room don't mind the mess. Um, I didn't really want to like completely clean it up just for this video. Um, this is our life. So here's our room. The bed is made. I was sitting here, so it's a mess. There's my pregnancy pillow. Honestly, this is a lifesaver. If you are pregnant, you definitely need one of these throughout your pregnancy. So here's the space between my bed and the wall which is really important for the bassinet. And then here's Adam's side. So it's almost the same kind of side. Here is, I just set up her diaper genie here. And then here we have a little corner and this is for her. This is her little bassinet setup area. I wanted to mention that I know that her little corner could be maybe set up a little bit cuter. Um, I had ordered this like wooden nameplate for her for the baby shower and I don't really wanted to put it on the wall and stuff like that and just really dedicate this corner to her but we actually just bought a home and we are going to be moving out of our apartment at the end of March and we actually get the keys to our house hopefully um, at the end of this month, January. And in the meantime, there's going to be painting and some things like a little bit of upgrades happening at the house. And since we're in COVID, um, if we're going to have people coming in and out of that house in the meantime, I'd rather be here, move slowly. And then towards the end of March, then I will be moving into the new house. So this bassinet is a Delta like a four in one or something like that it's from target and i loved this bassinet the second i seen it it's very different than your typical bassinet it has um wheels and they lock and it looks like a crib 
it's smaller it's smaller than like a mini crib but um honestly i think for me safety reasons i really liked this bassinet one yes it is a little bit more it's a bigger and it's a lot more bulky so when i move it to the side of the bed if it's perfectly fine but then i would have to move it in order for me to get out of the bed i felt like this bassinet was just so much more sturdy um i felt like it was safer for the baby and not only did i feel like it was safer but it's very airy as you can tell it moves so it's perfect because if i want to be in the living room i can literally take this all over there to the living room it came with this mattress here which was another plus. In the meantime, I have her changing pad here. And I just, I washed everything, but I left it in plastic just because I had this ready really early and I didn't want like dust and all that to accumulate. And so currently this is her bed, her bassinet. This will be moved obviously when she's in here. She's not sleeping on here. Her first little doll. And then here at the bottom, I made it a little bit more useful so I have nightgowns here some blankets burping cloths receiving blankets and then I have a little set here that I put together there's Alea's dad <laughs> I just got back from a ride <laughs> riding we have been um we gained a lot of weight during this pregnancy and so he's trying his best to um get back to pre-pregnancy weight <laughs> so that's where he came from anyways um so here's this little basket that i got or little box and i just have a bunch of her pampers here a pack of wipes some destin um, some, what do you call it, breast, breast pads, brush, um, nipple cream, body lotion, I put some alcohol in here, hand sanitizer, some cotton, cotton balls to clean her bellicle cord, and then these are also to wrap her belly, um, to protect the umbilical cord. Breast pump delivered to my mom's house today, so that's probably going to go down here as well. And then I just made room, and so currently she has like her shoes, her tennis shoes back here that aren't going to fit her for a while. Some muslin blankets and towels. So this is all just like her newborn stuff. And so I have uh, washcloths here. Her socks. Um... What do you call these? Uh, mittens, beanies, b bows, or headbands, sorry. And here, I have a few other things. So back here, I have these uh, swaddles, and then some uh, onesies. Everything else is pretty much outfits put together. I originally had everything separated, but I figured if, you know, Adam needs to change her, we kind of already have the outfits put together and these are a bunch of bibs here we have more outfits pretty much that's how we've incorporated her stuff into our room under our bed we ended up buying um we got a lot of um diapers for the baby shower and we have boxes and boxes in our laundry area so we ended up kind of buying these like storage things that go under your bed and just filling up um the containers with diapers here's her diaper genie let me show you guys our walk-in closet like we had all this space where we would just hang our jeans and stuff but we ended up kind of moving things around so all her clothes here uh zero to i don't know a year is all hanging here that's how i incorporated the baby stuff into this room and um once we move out and we get settled in to our new home and we put her nursery together i definitely want to show you guys that here in our living room we have our bags like completely ready the only thing that we need to add is adam's blanket 
But other than that, we are so ready. I just celebrated my 31st birthday yesterday. That's why there's balloons right there, if you can tell. And honestly, I cannot believe I'm 31. I feel so lucky and so blessed. I had so many goals last year for my 30th, uh, one being getting my diploma. So I officially got it delivered yesterday to my house. So I am an official graduate with a bachelor's degree in accounting. Finished one of my biggest goals that I've been targeting for I think the longest time. I wanna say maybe four or five years when I went back to school to finish my degree. Um, we started escrow on a home at the end of this year and then we'll be getting our keys this year. So that's another major accomplishment. Um, also, COVID has challenged all kinds of relationships around this world. And I can say that me and Adam moving in together this year was one big accomplishment for us just being on our own and it's challenged our relationship because we've spent a lot of time because of covid together we both work from home and now here we are and we're doing great in our relationship so there's so much that has happened throughout last year that has been good for us so i'm so grateful all right you guys so i also wanted to test out this um elf Camo CC Cream Foundation. I got this one in the shade Light 240W. So I really just wanted to go ahead and just apply it and kind of get like my first impression on it. But real quick, um, because of my dark circles, I like to go ahead and apply something a little bit warmer to my under eyes just before I apply the foundation. So I'm gonna go in with the NYX Born to Glow Naturally Radiant Foundation. And if this is just gonna go right under my eyes. It's kind of like color correcting for me. Ooh, that's a lot. And I like this one because it is more moisturizing so I don't want to dry up my under eyes at all. I love it. And then I'm just gonna apply one full pump onto my hand and just first apply it by stippling it in my to my face. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start off by blending it out onto my forehead. So, so far I feel like the foundation is blending out really nicely. I do think that it's, it is like a little, I don't know if it's thick or a little drying. So if you have, you know, dry skin, I would definitely recommend prepping your skin right before applying this foundation. Otherwise, it's not really going to blend out seamlessly. So I can tell though, just by applying it onto my nose, it's getting like a little patchy and it's probably because my nose is a lot drier. Um, so like I said, make sure to apply oils or moisturizer, like a good hydrating one to your skin. And I'm just gonna apply a little bit more into the center of my face and then onto my nose. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish my face off camera and then I'll let you guys know my final thoughts on this CC cream once I'm done. I want to show you guys the breast pump that I got from my insurance. So this is the Medela Pump and Style. So this is what it comes with. And it comes with a battery pack, which was awesome. So if I wanted to take it with me somewhere, let's say I needed a pump on the go for whatever reason, um, I can take the battery pack, which is super cool. Yeah, guys, this is Baby Alea's little station and... I can't believe it's almost time. <sighs> I'm out of breath, as always. Yeah, so this uh, CC Cream Foundation, I would recommend. It was easy to use and I absolutely love it. I think that's gonna be all for this video. I really just wanted to share how we're incorporating the baby into our room and just how we're getting prepared and just waiting. So 
Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys on my next video. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye.